Hello. My name is Reverend Sipatine Woodhead, PhD. Thank you for attending my rant on the State of the Onion here in the USA and abroad. I offer up to you a list of 20 some odd things, in no particular order I might add, that are foobar, and need to be asked politely, to fuck off at this time. Number 1, The Patriot Act. Wiping its ass with America's constitution since 2001. As Ben Franklin said, those who would give up essential liberty, to purchase a little temporary safety, deserve neither liberty nor safety. So. Fuck you Patriot Act. 2. Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. His many shockingly senile imbecilic blatherings include the assertion that committing a crime, filming this crime, and selling the video of the crime to defective human beings for profit is somehow First Amendment protected free speech. Newsflash you Jersey born lackluster loutish lame brain lunatic. It isn't. I hate as well his famous contention that the Supreme Court has never held that the Constitution forbids the execution of a convicted defendant who has a full and fair trial, but is later able to convince a habeas court that he is actually innocent. So it's okay to execute innocent people now is it? Isn't being executed for a crime you did not commit a violation of the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution outlawing cruel and unusual punishment Antonin? Do me a favor you doddering fucktard. Any boneheaded Philistine can use Webster's Dictionary to interpret the law. Stick to telling me what the law says, and refrain from telling me what you wanted to say. So. Fuck you Antonin Scalia. 3. The Christian, and I use the term Christian lightly, right? Teaching your children intolerance and hate, based on a fictional fairy tale book about a cosmic Jewish zombie that is himself his father, and a ghost, all at the same time, is just as much a form of child abuse as exposing children to extremist Islamic propaganda. Fuck you Christian right. 4. Fred Phelps. Protesting at the funerals of American servicemen and women. Really? You are a worthless lying psychopath. Instead of bastardizing Christianity why don't you just make up your own religion, maybe based on aliens from the Galactic Confederacy, led by a dictator named Xenu, or something equally absurd? You are too illiterate, unimaginative, and IQ deficient I suppose? Fuck you Fred Phelps. 5. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Why do we care what this communist mink stool sample thinks? Or Vladimir Putin for that matter. I grew up during the Cold War and I feel the same way about the desires of the Russian leaders now as I did at that time. We do whatever we need to do, and if some vodka swilling Russian bully doesn't like it then we tell him to start a nuclear war and kill everything on the planet, or to shut the fuck up. We should have kicked their asses at the end of World War II. Fuck the Russians. And fuck their cow patty of a drunken, commie in fur hats, country. 6. Iran. Why don't we just let Israel take out their infrastructure, and give ourselves a little break from them, and their Sharia bullshit? Israel is going to have to do it pretty soon on their own anyway. Bomb Iran back to the Stone Age, though granted, for them it's a pretty short trip. No roads, no water, no power, no phones, no food, no mosques. If we frag them now, then we can forget about them for a few years. Maybe bomb Yemen, Syria, and Libya too. Fuck you Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and fuck you Iran. 7. The Palestinians. Look you ignorant half-wits. Make an Allah damned peace deal already. Israel isn't going anywhere and none of the Middle Eastern armpit countries and grey matter deficient leaders that have been encouraging you to make martyrs of yourselves all of these years can make them go anywhere either. Get used to it. Google the goddamned 1967 six day war and then make the best deal you can get so you can quit bringing rocks to a guided missile fight. By the way. Don't you cretinous, uncultured, disenfranchised sheep ever wonder why the filthy, unwashed, dune dumplings at the top of your incompetently run criminal enterprise never strap on a bomb themselves? 
it's because they are too busy defiling your wives, mothers, and sisters. You are as dim-witted as you are useless. So. Fuck you, Palace.